Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you a simple trick that might save you some time when setting up a new quadcopter. In my experience, most of the times when setting up a new quadcopter, whether it's a small or a big one, the configuration of the on-screen display and also the VTX remains the same. So configuring your favorite on-screen display settings each time can be a little bit of a hassle. So first of all, what you need to do is to configure your favorite on-screen display settings once. I like to display the RSSI and on the center the indication of the battery voltage, which is probably the most important value. Then head over to Betaflight CLI, enter dump. Basically, it's going to display all the Betaflight configuration values. Save this file, open it up, search for OSD. And basically what you're looking for is this configuration starting with set. So you can select all the values that shows set OSD underscore, copy these values, then you can simply delete all the other values. And I recommend to save this file as Betaflight default OSD settings. Then you can simply disconnect the quadcopter. And when you want to configure a new quadcopter, just plug it in. As you can see, now all the settings of the OSD are turned off. So you can head over to the CLI, copy all the values that we previously saved, paste them in the CLI, then enter save. And as you can see, now the OSD is configured properly. In a similar way, you can also save the configuration of your VTX. So again, you can enter dump, save the settings to file, open it up and look for set VTX, copy these six values, override this file, you can save it as default VTX settings. And again, when you want to configure a new VTX, just copy these values, paste them in the CLI and enter save. So I hope this video will be useful for you next time you set up a new quadcopter. And of course, as always, if you have any questions about the process, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos. And goodbye.